Ladies and gentlemen, hot tip. If you're stupid, eat me. If you're homophobic or fed up with your dick working, eat me. Who gives a f Heartless pretend comic Isaac Butterfield is back doing what he does best. Overreacting to kind people because they remind him just how bad of a person he actually is. You may not know this, but we are currently in the middle of No Meat May. I'm vegan and I was actually completely unaware of that, so thanks for the info. Of course, I'm in the middle of a meat-free life because I believe that living sentient beings do not deserve to die for something as trivial as a sandwich. So you little at home better not be eating any meat or you're gonna upset some very skinny malnourished individuals. You what, Tiny? If you didn't know what no meat may is... <laughs> Why would anyone not know what no meat means, f***ing hell, son? It's a challenge where the most boring, just f***ing annoying... If you find words irritating, you should swap places with your victims. You'll be just a little bit more than annoyed after a life of isolation and then standing there trembling, soiling yourself, awaiting your turn to be executed. You poor whinge bag. People on Earth only eat plant products for a whole month. What's boring about dropping five animal products from my diet and eating hundreds of plant foods? Maybe you only have the brain capacity to think about lettuce and tomatoes, I don't know. Because the environment and other things that I couldn't give a fuck about I take it you don't plan to have children then. That's one good thing, I suppose. But hey, you know what? Each to their own. And I actually have a challenge coming up for this June. It's called, hey, f face, why don't you just eat meat and veggies this June? You'll lose weight, you'll get healthier, and you won't be a whinging piece of sh Life's all about moderation. Yeah, that's very clever. Let's all swallow a moderate amount of razor blades, drink a moderate amount of bleach, and only kill humans on a Thursday. Are you volunteering as one of the first victims? Anyway, the reason for this video is a particular study that No Meat May did. They surveyed a thousand Australians and they found that 75% of them would rather die than give up meat. Well, that's very convenient. If you look at the data, around 75% of people in developed countries die because of their poor dietary choices. So likely they'll get their wish. Ladies and gentlemen, I love this country. Only a simpleton would celebrate people being a bunch of simpletons. It's easy not to care about health while you still have it. If they happen to survive their first heart attack or bout of bowel cancer, I guarantee they'll be pretty f***ing keen to recover their health. We are a very funny country and I have evidence as to how funny we f***ing are with this compilation of the most ridiculous reasons for people calling ambulances in Australia's history. In the 12 months prior to 31 March this year, New South Wales Ambulance received the calls for the following. 1,036 calls for people complaining about constipation. Yeah, because they eat too much in meat. Hey, being blocked up can be traumatising. You should know. Holy I've tried everything. I've tried laxative, I've tried enemas. <laughs> yeah, you want to eat some plants from time to time. Fibre, you know. 157 calls from people who couldn't sleep. I wouldn't be able to sleep either if I paid for animals to be killed because I like the taste of their dead bodies. The poll, which included a thousand respondents, found that almost 50% of participants thought meat as a masculine undertaking. I guess maybe it is. Nah, it's performed by clueless or heartless people that don't have the balls to stand up for what's right. It's nice to have a barbecue and sit around and enjoy meat. Maybe that is sort of akin to back in the Dizay, people going out hunting and coming back and enjoying a big successful meal. Well, nine times out of 10, people using ancient hunting methods come back empty handed. So they would have had to have eaten the plant foods foraged by the women. Whilst, you know, at the same campfire, all the vegos and the vegans that are a part of the tribe are laughing to themselves after staying back and servicing all the hunters' partners who would have been gagging for some vegan sausage as the meat-based sausages in the tribe failed to satisfy. One 2018 study found that men routinely incorporate red meat to preempt the negative emotional states caused by threats to masculinity. Really? What a bunch of snowflakes. A meat-free lifestyle is not the only way to save the planet that men think of as feminine. In 2019, researchers who have way too much time on their hands found that straight men perceive using a reusable shopping bag as a feminine act and would avoid recycling for fear of looking gay. So what we're saying is a lot of bellends confuse a lack of common sense with sexuality. No wonder they're stupid enough to keep eating heart-clogging, penis-blocking, carcinogenic flesh.
Ladies and gentlemen, hot tip. If you're stupid, eat meat. If you're homophobic or fed up with your dick working, eat meat. Who gives a f right? Millions of vegans and vegetarians and tens of billions of farmed animals. Have a bit of thought for others, it doesn't cost anything. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you chunk a big slice of an animal on your plate tomorrow and be a good mother Peace in the Middle East. Oh my God, things are falling apart. It was my little chalkboard. Did you know this chalkboard is here? Because in my first videos, if you go back to them, there was a chalkboard on the fridge. Yeah, no one gives a f and you're boring. Now watch this.